Hi guys, Carla here for a new video using our Yable Commerce Ajax product filter plugin. Today I'm going to show you how to create a filter by brand, a filter by material, and a filter by style using tags or attributes. You're going to be able to use this exact same procedure to create any filter you want. Before we get started, let me remind you of course to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Okay, so you know that by using our Yeet WooCommerce HX Product Filter plugin, you can create the basic filters you need, like the ones that we have here on our live demos. You see here that we have a filter by color, then we have a filter by size, and a filter by price. There you go. And with a bit of imagination and tax or attributes, you can create any filter you want. For instance, right here we have a filter by style, where we can choose the bohemian style, the casual style, the dark punk style. We have a filter by brand. And if we go over to our bakery shop, we are going to see other types of filter. Like for instance, right here, the filter by flavors. So you can choose to filter products by coffee flavor, chocolate flavor, and down below we have the food preferences filter where you have options like gluten free, sugar free or vegan. So think about it, if you sold furniture you could create a filter by material, if you had a bookstore you could create a filter by author. So any filter you want you can create it here. Now let's see how to do it using attributes or tags. Let's head over to the attributes sub menu right here. We're going to create an attribute first so that we can create our filter by style. So let's name this style right there, add attributes and let's add some terms to it. Let's add for instance the bohemian style first, add new style and casual and romantic, add new style. There, so now we have three terms for our filter by style. Now we're going to head over to our tag sub menu so that we can create some tags for other two filters. Tags right there. And first filter we're going to work on is our filter by brand. So let's add Adidas right here and Gucci. A new tag and guess. There. So these are going to be our three brands. Now we're going to work on our filter by material. So let's add leather, since this is obviously a clothing shop. And cotton right here. And silk. A new tag. So now that we have created our tags and attribute, we're going to head over to all products right here. And we're going to add them to some products. So let's select here the shirt, edit. So first thing we're going to add is our style attribute. So let's go here, product data, attributes. And let's add style right here. There, add. And we're going to make this shirt have the romantic style, okay? Save attributes. And now we're going to add the tags. So we had tags for brands and for materials. So first we're going to add the brand, which is going to be Gucci. There. And now the material that is going to be leather. There. Add. And we're going to scroll up and update so that our changes are saved. And now we're going to add these tags and attribute to a couple more products, okay? So let's edit here. Let's make this shirt have the bohemian style, save attribute. And now let's add the tags, let's add guess for the brand. There. And let's add cotton. Add update and let's just choose one more 
We'll give this shirt a casual style. There, save attribute. And for the text, we're going to add Adidas as a brand. And cotton right here again. Add, update once again. Okay, so now we have to head over to our Yeath menu. HX product filter sub menu. And there I'm going to create a new preset. So let's click on add preset. I'm going to name this one women. Women right there. And I'm going to set up the default layout. Now I'm going to click on add a new filter. And this first filter is going to be our style filter. There I'm not going to touch this right here. I am going to change the taxonomy for the product style. And I'm going to add all the terms that I have added before to my style attribute. Okay. You can then change the filter type. I'm going to leave it as it is. And we can add some tooltips right here. And say filter. And now we're going to create a new filter right here. This one is going to be one of our tags filter. I'm going to change these for brands. I'm not changing this option as you know. And this one down below, I'm going to change it for product tags. And now I'm going to add the terms that involve brands. So Adidas, Gucci, and Guess. Let me select a different filter type right here. Let's choose radio right here. I'm not adding any tooltip here. Let's go on to say filter. And now I'm going to add the last filter that is going to be material. Now, instead of typing each term, I'm going to select add all. Okay. And I'm just going to eliminate the ones that I don't need, which are Adidas, there, Gucci, and Guess. These are the only tags that I need for my filter by materials. I'm going to select another filter type and I'm going to save filter, save preset right here. And now I have to make this preset available on my website. So I'm going to head over to appearance and widgets. And as you can see right here, I don't have anything on my default sidebar. So I'm going to scroll down to give Ajax filter preset. And I'm going to add widget to my default sidebar. Now, since I have more than one preset, I have to choose the one that I want there. I'm going to choose women, save. And now let's head over to my site so we can take a look at those filters. And there we have our filter by style where we can choose bohemian, casual or romantic. Then the filter by brands where we have Adidas, Gucci and Guess. And finally, our filter by materials where we have the cotton and leather options. Remember that we don't have the silk option there because we just simply didn't set up any product to have the silk material. So that's how you can create any filter you want using tags or attributes. So that's it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you again for our next video.